A Detroit father devastated over the loss of his youngest son wants people to stop and think about the lives they put at risk when they drive recklessly. 15 year old Danelle Johnson was riding his mini bike when he was hit and killed on Helen Street near Seven Mile. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live on Detroit's east side and can we understand the victim was not even in the street when this happened? That's correct. A new 15 year old Donnell was actually on the sidewalk here and he was actually stopped and sitting on his mini bike in front of this house, a house with surveillance cameras that captured the devastation that is now evidence. It was one of the best things that happened to me. That's my youngest baby boy. Reginald Johnson's 15 year old son Donnell was on the sidewalk on Helen Street, not far from Seven Mile, when Detroit police say a man speeding in a Chevy Impala blew the stop sign, may have hit a bump and lost control. And before he crashed into this house, he struck and killed Donnell, a ninth grader from Pershing High. He was a very bright child. He loved to do things. He loved to work. He was always happy. He was a loving kid. He loved everybody. Donnell was just a block away from home when this happened yesterday around 7 p.m. One witness said the Impala appeared to be going over 60 miles an hour. Donnell was on the sidewalk sitting on his mini bike when someone said it was like he heard the car coming because he looked back, tried to get off his bike to get out of the way, but it was too late. Wrong place, wrong time. A teenager loved by many of his neighbors who know him and his brother. They do long work for a lot of the people in the area. You know, two, two sweet guys, two very mannerable and very respectful. Police arrested the 24 year old driver and were told it does not appear drugs or alcohol were involved. He was just going way too fast and lost control, killing Donnell and leaving his family devastated. His father hoping people stop and think about their actions behind the wheel. Just think. Just think, think about what you're doing out here. You know, because for the simple fact is, I don't get to see my baby boy no more. I gotta put my baby boy in the ground. And that driver remains locked up and could be charged as early as tomorrow. And the possible charge could be reckless driving causing death. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Such a tragedy, Kim, and of course, we're all praying for that family. All right, thank you. Well, some